big, big, huge game for us um, in our program. And almost treat the opponents, no matter whom it is, kind of like nameless, faceless, and it's just us. In-state rivalry, um, exciting week around the office. What I've learned at BYU is a lot of teams play really hard against us. Very easy to be motivated, players and coaches, to play well. Uh, the best way I know how to handle it is just really focus on us. What he does now on second and 10 out near midfield at the 48. Kennedy comes in motion. Chuck, he's going to keep it. He can pitch to Kennedy, but he doesn't. He keeps it, turns upfield at the 30. He's down to the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Aggies. I kind of flash back to our potato bowl a couple years ago, and I was just praying that I didn't dive as ugly as that year. So thankfully, I, I got to stay up. Hurts. Mangum takes the snap, stretches it out there for Algie Brown. Algie to the 5, keeps the legs driving into the end zone. Touchdown, Algie Brown. DJ Nelson, younger brother of Riley, is the holder. And the kick is deflected, blocked at the line. It will tumble into the end zone. And BYU holds the Aggies scoreless on the drive. Thompson. There's a snap from Nalei. It wasn't straight and true. But he, it hit, did it hit the upright? It did. It hit the left. It hit watching. the right upright. That's, That's a fake. fake. And uh, DJ is running, and he's going to keep it. And he's got a first down, DJ Nelson. Robinson's coming in motion. The handoff doesn't, well, it goes to Hunt. He's got the outside lane. He's at the one, and he went into the end zone. Touchdown, Utah State. He takes it, and he doesn't hand it to Mays. He throws it to the far sideline. It's caught. Touchdown, Utah State. It's Hunter Sharp in the end zone. The Aggies have scored again. All far hash. BYU right to left here in quarter number two. Tanner. Throws it downfield, caught by Matthews at the 40, and the 30, Mitch on his way into the end zone. One play, and a touchdown. Mangum to Matthews, and the Cougars right back in it. Any one of us in this room could have caught because the guy was running wide, smoking open. Play clock under five. Snap to Keaton. Three-step, Kafusi coming in from his left. Chucky steps away. Chucky pulls it down. Chucky fumbles the football. He fumbled it, and the Cougars pick it up. Crazy, really. <laughs> I was running with it, and I was like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Am I, is it a flag or something? I was looking around, and I was like, I guess so. I'll just keep running. And touchdown, Tomasi Lahalile. Can you believe it? Have you ever run that fast before? No, never. <laughs> that was the biggest play of the game right there. I take more blame than anything else. I feel like I I know I was the reason why we didn't do as well as, uh, as we did. Anyone's going to say it wasn't, but that's, that's the truth. I remember this week specifically being uh, Extra eager to play because it's Utah State, you know, it's a rivalry game. Steps up, goes for the end zone for Matthews. Matthews fighting off a defender and pulls it in for a touchdown. There's contact, there's no flags, it's a touchdown. Touchdown, oh. Mitch Matthews. What a ground by Mitch. I'm 21 point. I think, if I'm not mistaken, swing right there was critical in the in the game, and we're good enough in all three phases to come back and win it. So, probably have to say 23 technically. Now we eye to snap it. The snap is back. It's brought down by DJ Nelson. The kick is blocked and live, and the Cougars pick it up on the run. Micah Hanneman, midfield, 40, hurdle, 30, stays in bounds, 25, gets a block, 20, 15, 10-yard line. Oh man, Micah Hanneman. Hands off. Francis. Francis has the open path into the end zone. He runs left and he goes right in for six. You know, for me, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, I, last year after we lost, you know, that was a thing that, you know, lasted all the way till right now. So I'm happy to have it. It means a lot. You know, they had it for a full year, you know, for a full calendar year. And so, and that stings, right? And so that's something they had on us. And so this week, like I said, we prepared extra hard, and it feels nice to get it back. You know you're older than me, right? That's the name. I think this team's resilient. I think they're tough. I think they find a way to make plays when they need to. And I'm just lucky to be their coach. Hans Olsen and Christian Cox from 97.5 and 1280 The Zone join us one last time this year. And guys, it was all you, Aggies, really. They had all the momentum until that Matthews touchdown. That changed everything, Hans. Yeah, and that's where we're going to start. But Mitch Matthews stepping up big. He's had a couple of big games in that stadium now. 
about 270 yards total, five touchdowns, and he had two in this game. Christian, let's start with this first big touchdown. He gets behind the defense. Yeah, and this was like what we're looking at. It's They're down by 11 points. There's only 253 left in the half, and this play from Mitch Matthews is key to getting the momentum out of the way. So we're not sure if it's cover two for, or, or if it's quarters coverage. There's an absolute lapse between the safety, Marwin Evans, and the corner, Jalen Davis, and he run, he gets a 70-yard bomb and to start out the gate. You know, Devon Blackman actually holds a little bit of the defense. You see the safeties having to respect Devon Blackman, and that does leave Mitch Matthews open. Devon Blackman pulled a lot of attention throughout this game. All right, let's take another look at a big moment for BYU, and I'm talking about a massive moment. Let's talk about this situation, Christian. BYU's down 17-21. Is the offensive coordinator making the right call here? No, and, and you're looking at, you know, 12 seconds to go. You have the momentum. You've had it the entire game. And what's interesting to me is you got Bronson Kafusi down here in a four technique. You got Tomasi, who's going to be down here, who ends up recovering the fumble. He's the furthest guy away from the from the from the field. He's not he's not the guy you think would even make the play. And look what he does and, and comes up with a huge game-changing play. You know, there was a lot of effort here. Great effort by Bronson Kafusi. Great rush gets him out of the pocket and watch La Lele continue to trail continue to trail finds that ball and then has the ability and the wherewithal to understand he's got to get into the end zone and they go in up instead of in down by a few and that's a massive momentum change it changes everything you go into the huddle or into the locker room and you start talking about man guys we've got him right where we want him instead of What's going on out there? Yeah, you remove the Mitch touchdown and that fumble yeah. cover for a touchdown. It's a completely different ballgame. All right, and then, you know, people want to know, what was going on with Utah State? This is another thing, another issue. Is, is field goal kicking? What are they doing here with the three-man push? Yeah, so we got a wedge combination here, and, you know, Bronson Kafusi's second block of the game. That's removing six points. You're only up ten, and not only do you block the field goal with your elbow, your guy picks it up and runs it back yeah. down to the five-yard line. Then you get an easy touchdown. It's just taking points and taking momentum and really capitalizing. That's what BYU did all game against Utah State. You know, that wedge isolation push has been really big for BYU throughout the year. Basically, you're taking three guys, your biggest guys, Tui Loma, La Lele, and Bronson Kafusi, and you're pushing them all over the guard trying to get that penetration. And Bronson's getting that big arm up, and he's making a difference with it. Those were big plays. Those block kicks all season long have been huge momentum changers for BYU. Yeah, yeah they have. Two missed field goals and a block field goal. That's 16 points the Aggies lost out on at <sighs> crucial uh, point of the game, too. Yeah, but, you know, Zippy, just down the ball, go in at half up. You know, that's a that's a big mistake. 12 seconds left, yeah. and you've got the lead. Chucky said he was moving it from his right to left hand, and it missed the left hand.